Oh hey, welcome back. I know I haven't posted a video in a little while. There's been a lot of other stuff going on. I haven't really had a reason to shoot a video, but my friends Ivan and Monique down in Texas, they are getting married, which is a pretty big deal. And they've invited me to come and be a part of that, which I'm going to go do. I'm gonna film their wedding for them. And then uh, while I'm down there, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll do a little thrifting. Uh, if you're watching this video, guess what that means? We did a little thrifting. Turn the notifications on though, because we've got some more videos coming soon. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, buckle up, because we're back. Monique and I got married. Also, we've been going to the bins in Austin mm -hmm. uh, a lot more. What I'm talking about? Found this Batman here, Batfleck Batman. Not sure, not sure. Boo, check that out. Where are we at right now? We're at the Goodwill Bins in Austin. I just got off an airplane. My lower back is killing me from being cramped, but I did sit in the front seat, so. Transformers, no Blu-ray. What did you find? Sophia's secret stash. Shopkins. Did you say Monique collects these? Yeah, Monique Let's, collects these. That's a heck of a find then. Yeah. It's a bunch. It's a tornado warning and we're out playing disc golf. <laughs> Ivan, that's first available. <laughs> you threw from here, that's the first tree and you hit it. Also, you still gotta make that mandatory, which you did. Are we good willing or are we good willing? We're good willing. Your first time at this Goodwill Bins? <laughs> <laughs> you throwing up gang signs? <laughs> That's not a good way to start a video. <laughs> I wish you had a mic on right now. Okay, listen, we just walked in the door and there's a brand new rotation. And uh, there's a bin with video game stuff. You can see some television. There's some N64 stuff in here. Look at that. Uh, I didn't really have time to film because it went so crazy. But like, here's some replacement controller stuff. It's just crazy. So I've got to sort of get in here. Make sure I keep digging. It's gonna be hard to film. I also don't know where my phone is. I think I threw it at the bottom of this thing. I'm losing my mind. Oh, it's in here somewhere. Come here. Got it. I need a cart, but they're all taken. It's very frustrating. Display cable. More N64, let's go. Parts, but we can do. I've seen a bunch of other people grabbing video game related stuff and I'm really not supposed to leave my stuff sitting over on the floor, but it's become way too much to carry. And I bought a suitcase to take back with me. I bought a suitcase to take back with me on the plane, or I'm going to, it's right there, it's small. It's way too small. I'm gonna have to get a bigger one just because of the stuff I just found. Oh, it's gone, this went nuts. This went crazy. And I want to go check the other side of stuff, but I don't want to leave this here. Because that's trouble. I'm going to do it anyways. I'll come running. I'll keep an eye on it. I'm having trouble with my microphone too, so if it sounds bad, that's my bad. I need a cart. I found a bunch of video game stuff. Did you find anything? No. I've just left my stuff over on the floor. I've just left my stuff over on the floor. I'm struggling with this microphone. Just looking for hints of game stuff. What's sort of on my side right now is the fact that when it's new rotation, they are sort of, sort of a little more lax on stuff laying around. So I can kind of shimmy through the rest of this real quick and look for more. Uh, I'm so nervous just looking at my phone across the room. Here's a slightly bigger suitcase. I might take this. Seems to be more my speed. Excuse me. I'm going to take this back around to my stuff and start chucking it in. Excuse me. Sorry. We'll go through it lightly while I'm sitting here, which is not a good idea because right by checkout king of the hill gaming manual 
something halo empty boxes manuals more king of the hill which i actually just want we'll go through this more in depth later game let's just dump it this has been such an odd time at the bins i haven't had really a lot of time filming because everybody running to new stuff and it's closed so i don't have to rush there's just this whole thing of uh electronics there's a camera monitor literally for camera stuff which is actually useful to me power charger there's multiple capture cards uh for you know capturing your video games and stuff which is awesome and then this is one half of a, a video transmission system for transmitting hdmi i would love to find the other half <sighs> but of course i haven't and then ipod stuff and uh oh, it's just been rough i'm still digging around trying to find more of it because the more i dig the more i find like thumb drives and other bits of video and computer hardware there to be completely honest surprising like i was just about ready to quit i uh, found some thumb drives and stuff and some more capture cards i'm not gonna buy this i already have a couple but that's cool <laughs> I'd really rather wait till I get home to go through all this and sort of take my time. But I'm gonna have to do it at the bins because it's kind of just so much crap that uh, I'll be buying way too much that I don't need to. So let's see if I found anything video game wise that's worth getting. I know I got like two dozen uh, N64 joystick controller replacements. I got this for my workshop for hanging stuff in. Uh, actually inspired by something I saw at Ivan and Monique's house. They have something. S N64 controller getting. I'm telling you, maybe more than a dozen of these. Let me get one out so you can see it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what brand they are or whatever, but I have I have a parts box for controllers. I also grabbed a lot of DVD stuff, more to sort of scan and look up, but here we go. Here's the N64 stuff and it's Sega. Sega Hardball, and it's in there. Uh, Bassmasters 2000, not in there, empty box. It's just still crazy. Uh, Kingdom Hearts for PS2, not valuable or anything, but it is in there. And I actually have series three of King of the Hill at home in my shop and I put it on in my workshop while I'm working and stuff. That's awesome. So now I have one and two. That's such good luck. If this is in there, we're, we're set. Yes, probably so far. I don't know these the prices of this stuff too well, so I don't know this for sure. But this seems like the best thing I've found. Wario game, heck yeah. There's just all these cases I grabbed in case there's something in there. There doesn't appear to be gaming manual. No, DVD booklet. All right, I gotta put this in stacks I'm actually gonna get. Gaming manual. Ooh, shoot, tripod I'm getting. Uh, tennis, I actually found the game separately, but it's it's here. I thought this was a game, but it's not. It's some sort of computer software, or, or it is a game of sorts. I need to scan this, I need to look that up. Or I'll just get it, it's light enough. Tiger Woods not worth getting oh yeah i found a disc golf disc since i haven't actually played with me a little bit i might just leave him a set of discs it might be his c battle for intellivision oh the game like the manual for power glove i guess the instruction manual pretty crazy oh man the complete third season again right i don't know maybe it's just the inside of it there's a whole bunch of uh, NES game sleeves. I'll get them. SSX for GameCube. It's in there. That's a good find. N64 instruction manual for the console. Some sort of PC game. I, I'm hoping this was 3DO, but I don't think it is. This is worth a shot. Okay. I'm definitely getting this King of the Hill stuff. 
grab some games? Um, empty boxes. Oh, really? Which, which box is that? Huh? That Wario. Um, Wario for Wii. Yeah. Are you taking the box? Yeah. The fucking... I think I got some okay stuff. I think I'm gonna get all that. Um, oh, it's for the Commodore? Yeah. I almost threw it back. Um, we'll look when we get home. See if it's I don't think it is. Or I tried to, yeah, no, there's nothing in there. It's just a box, but I grabbed a bunch of empty boxes and someone else got a few too. Who knows what they got? Might've missed my opportunity to find sealed Super Mario Brothers. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. Book wise, I need to dig these out, but so I can pay for them separately. I was going to get that for a friend, but uh, well, maybe not now. I'm actually going to turn that into guitar picks, kit bashing, playing composition, always welcome. Art tape, I don't even know what that is. Comment below. Book of Mormon, I have a shelf full of religious texts and stuff for just a ra random reasons i'm gonna i'm gonna take that and put that on the shelf uh let's see best thing i found i hope this works i so hope this works i need to look some of this up just a 12 dollars device not worth it i've actually had one of these before these work well and I tell you what I think this is. Somebody might know better in the comments, but this looks like a magnet to put on globes so that it spins around and flies with your globe as you turn it, maybe. I don't know, it's a magnet. It's going on my fridge. HDMI splitter, always welcome. Even though I don't have the other half of this, I feel like it's worth a get no matter what. I think this is an old MP3 player. Uh, some old iPod cables. 3D printed Switch game holder that's actually printed really high quality. I always struggle with buying thumb drives, hard drives at Goodwills because who knows what's on them. Uh, I need to look this up. Looking up this little cloud server here, I can't imagine it's worth anything, but you always got to make sure Man, it's not even coming up at the rip. I'm a little torn on this uh, power supply unit because it's so bulky for just those four USB ports. I'd try to buy smaller ones now. I think I'll leave it but take the cable. And I haven't, I thought I had another book here, but this might be it. Got to pay for these separate. And ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you all, Mr. and Mrs. Ivan Ruiz. I have been hiding this bag of goodies from Texas under my workbench right here for months now since I came back from Texas. Uh, just didn't really feel like making a video, a lot of other stuff going on. Uh, but I've shot several other videos that I'm now ready to post, so I got to get this one out of the way. Uh, so let's talk about what I found in Texas. And mind you, while I go through here, I sort of uh, have already sold a lot of stuff and forgotten about other stuff. So if I seem clueless, that's why. Uh, did I buy this in Texas? I don't know. It's in the bag. This I bought for a very particular reason. We'll talk about it in a minute. But there's just so much random stuff that it really made me like this, Ben's. Probably my best gaming haul find in a little while. Just video games, video games. I think what I did sell was the uh, empty N64 boxes. Posted them on eBay, sold immediately. Xbox controller case. Just This was all one bin, just video game stuff. We've got several seasons of King of the Hill here. And then this right here, I'm actually somewhat excited about because, where's it at? Oh, it's all the way up there. I don't think I can reach it. Hold on. It seems like once a week I'm lining something with felt. I've got a whole podcasting table in there. I felt it black. That's actually like some proper pool table felt. Pool table felt. Uh, so, there you go. And I'm not climbing back up there right now. Uh, but more stuff for those bins. This is all kit bashing stuff. I've explained kit bashing on this channel a thousand times. Uh, not about to do it again. Just Google kit bashing, but there you go. That's what that's for. A catcher's mitt. 
I've not actually sold a lot of baseball mitts, and this seems small, so it's like a kid's one or something. Uh, anybody with any knowledge willing to help me figure out which of these words or letters, RF, BRB, all that. Someone tell me what all that means. Not much of a baseball guy here. I don't know. Uh, Nike backpack. Oh, more felt. Forgot about that. Seems like I should probably just leave these boxes out. So that was more felt for that. Dice for the dice collection, which I guess since we're doing show and tell, let me go get the dice collection. Isn't it lovely? Look at that. Um, these are earrings and I don't, I'm sure I'll put them somewhere else later, but they're, they're dice, so dice earrings. Uh, parchment paper, really just glorified nonsense. This cart over here is sort of my cricket cutter, printers, other paper related things, and there's some art supplies going on there, so I really don't know what I need it for, but if ever we're in the shop and someone goes, I need parchment paper, I'll know what rack it's on. More plastic. I haven't listed these yet. I don't think they're gonna be terribly valuable. Uh, I've bought and sold plenty of Intellivision stuff before, and hey, you can't beat a complete game, so maybe check for those on eBay, I don't know. It's too bad this wasn't in there. Commodore 64, it's just, uh, it's got a booklet. So I'll be honest with you, I don't guess I did my due diligence. What else is in here? Uh, yeah, just a booklet, some paperwork, and an empty box. Still cool to find, again, all same bin. I've been collecting patches to make my own NASA jacket because I'm large and I'm just gonna have to get a custom fit jacket to put the patches on. Uh, BRB. So I'm not even gonna cut it off the hat right now, though I could, it is just tacked on there. You can see the seam inside, so it'll come right off. But when that's ready, it'll be in the patch box. Nerf stuff, always good. So happy to have these King of the Hill DVDs. Those are for keeps. Still haven't tested this. I feel dumb for not having tested it. It's not a terribly expensive monitor. Not only are they geared or advertised towards like cheap video equipment, but you can also find this exact monitor advertised for like home security and stuff. Super cheap, but still cool. Uh, Velcro, not in those boxes. That's over here. Obviously, this is not organized very well. Uh, it's a mess. This honestly needs to go in one of those boxes because it's never sorted into here well, but it's what we got. Is there anything else in the backpack? Audio cables, a couple sewing needles, uh, and then, you know, just a nice colorful backpack. Power Rangers Morpher, it keeps coming apart, though it's not broken. It does go back together. Uh, I don't remember how to do it. And then look at this, is this not silly? All replacement thumbsticks for N64. It seems silly to me. Uh, capture card, Book of Mormon. Don't worry guys, I'm not getting religious on you. I just, some friends and I have been making some sort of religious based podcast material and stuff and talking about all kinds of stuff. So I thought it might be good to have a, one of those laying around. Descent 2 CD-ROM, Windows 95, pretty cool. Again, same gaming bin. I collect movie and stage scripts. Uh, I'm not gonna go dig that out because it's deep storage in the back of my warehouse and uh, we're not gonna easily come by it right now. More kit bashing. I get all, and I mean all of my label making stuff from the bins. I have not paid for la label making cartridges in years and years and years. This was something that I just sort of made a calculation on. I don't even remember if I looked it up, I might have. Again, the footage you guys just watched to now, it's been months, so I don't know what I said previous, but uh, this just seemed like something I could look up and potentially make a few dollars on. 3D printed Switch game holder. No Pokemon card left behind. Sewing materials. Actually, instead of uh, stick pins, a little trick we learned from my older brother, actually. 
Uh, instead of using stick pins, we use varying sizes of these clips. So it was cool to find. Uh, this is a HDMI splitter. It's actually useful around here. And I think that's just about it. I don't see anything else noteworthy. Oh, dice collection. I forgot about this. These wooden dice, aren't they beautiful? I think they came out of some sort of like game set. Cause I saw another, yeah, Pure One Imports. It was some weird little gaming set from Pure One Imports. And I saw a couple other wooden sets of stuff that came with it. But I was just interested in the dice. All right, well, there you go. Comment below what's your favorite thing that I found. I can't decide. Uh, I don't know. I think I think just the stack of gaming stuff because we haven't had that for a while. Uh, if not that, then maybe this stuff, which I've just bought in troves and troves in order to make guitar picks out of. And I, I've shown this off on the channel before and I swore I was gonna have a five gallon bucket one day, but we're still halfway up a three gallon bucket. But at some point, You'll see me taking all this random plastic stuff that I buy at the bins and finally one day filling a five gallon bucket. Thanks for watching guys. Definitely hit the subscribe button and make sure those notifications are. I've got a few more videos coming after this that I've shot. Trying to, well, I want to say I'm trying to ease back into making content, but I feel like in this last couple of weeks, I've really thrown myself at it. So notifications on. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, peace out.